Well, it's a very windy welcome from the foreshore in Netherlands for the opening round of the FMG Premier Grade as Calamunda, their opponents today, make their way out onto the pitch. This should be an absolute humdinger of a game. Netherlands players about to make their way out from the changing rooms. And it's good to see so many of the Calamunda supporters out there making the tunnel for their first team. And now the Netherlands fans will be doing the same. As you can hear, the wind is blowing pretty hard up from the river at the moment into my microphone. Apologies for that. I'm Ashley Morrison, looking forward to sharing all of the action with you today from the foreshore. Good crowd out, as there always is, supporting Netherlands. Just wait for their players to come out and then we can go through the team lineups for you. wind has really picked up so my apologies that you're really getting your ears blown off at the moment but uh, I can tell you that there's plenty of sailing yachts on the river and it's fairly choppy out there at the moment I'd much rather be out on the rugby pitch than taking uh, the bouncing that is going to be going on out there on the Swan River at the moment probably if you're not used to it your stomach's not going to like it very much had a few issues getting ready today but we're pleased to say we are here and we're going to do our best to give you the best coverage we can and we hope that you enjoy this opening game of the FMG Premier League season. I'd like to just thank Instant Scaffold, Scaffolding and Access Equipment in Welshpool for their support of this live stream and also Lawley's Bakery for their support as well. Still waiting for the Netherlands players to emerge from the sheds and no doubt they will be not too far away I'm sure the referee's probably gone in and asked them what's holding them up the applause starts to get a little bit, bit of volume so clearly they're making their way out now and they do come out and it gives us a chance to turn our attention to the team lineups and first up the team lineup for Netherlands and there's a lot of new faces in the Netherlands squad we've got Nick Hyde in hooker he is new to the squad this season. Also Zantana Pomare in the second row is another new player. Aiden Lee in the back row is also one of their new recruits. And also Sheldon Tarawa at fly half. He is a, apparently a player with a great reputation and Netherlands are hoping that he can perform for them. And also another couple of players in the centre, Justin Zeitzman is also new and on the bench is James Petherick. Turning our attention to Kalamunda, well, they've got a number of players to look out for, and certainly I'm looking forward to seeing live in the flesh Orga Sumana Tafu, Tafa, rather. He is a, another great player. Isaiah Malcolm Heke at fly half is going to be another player that's going to be crucial for them today. But their front row looks fairly formidable as well with Kieran Hogg, Norman Tapara, and Malakai Tuipaloto. Now the game about to get underway. First match of the 2021 season. The whistle goes and Nedlers kick towards the river. Grabbed with ease by the halfback, Jack Weir, who's also the captain of Kalamunda. Sets good ball. It was a low pass round the ankles, collected well by Tapara. Weir now. Malcolm Hecke kicking with the wind. It goes over the top of Kauri Kud. Gathers it though on the bounce. Tries to kick it back with interest. It's gone pretty much straight up in the air. And that's going to be the problem. Kicking towards the river today. The wind is so strong. You're not going to get the distance. You're going to have to keep your kicks fairly flat. Or even try the grubber. Good run now from Townsend for Nedlands. Gained valuable meters and a gone into touch on the far side. So the first line out of the day will be a Calamunda throw. Certainly Malachi Tupoloto, tall man at the back of the line out. Good ball by Calamunda. Spinning the wall wide, taking into contact. And it is Nedlands who were offside creeping up from the line out. So this is a good position on halfway to maybe kick for touch, gain some vital meters and put themselves in a good position to set up a platform for the first score. Joseph Simkins coming forward for 
Kalamunda. Simkin's nickname is Pork Chop. Kicks with the wind and finds the touch amongst all the Kalamunda fans just over the 22 metre line. So Kalamunda will be hoping they can have another good line out. They've gone for a short line out at the moment. No, the other players joining slowly. It's a good grab in the air by Sila Tupo. Malcolm Heke gets it out to Nerube. And now it's the fullback, Simpkins. Simpkins trying to go through the tackle. Almost went through one, but two Netherlands players bring him down eventually. Still with Kalamunda, Malcolm Heke. Now goes to the big number eight. Sumanatafu is picked up against Sumanatafu is still going, eventually brought to Grant. Weir, Malcolm Heke, good ball this time to Apinaru. Good defence from Nedlands, keeping them at bay. Weir goes on a little sniping run, he's held up though. Good defence again from Nedlands, covering across on the blind side. But it's still with Kalamunda, driven down in the tackle. Kalamunda though, still with possession. Simpkins this time. Gives it out to Tuipoloto. Referee just telling Nedlands to stay on side. A little snipe down the blind side. And the whistle goes and we're coming back for a free kick. And in fact, it's a penalty. They're going for the three points. No surprise there. Right in front of the post. Best to get the points on the board as early as you can. Simpkins now waiting for the tee. And the wind, you would think, just coming straight behind him would just really help it on its way to the apartments on the far side of the road. It's a good start to the match by Kalamunda. So Simkins lining it up. Three steps, drills it between the posts and into the building side at the far end of the ground and so it is. Nedlands nil, Callum under three. Just over five minutes gone. And it's fair to say Nedlands have been starved pretty much of the ball in this opening five or six minutes. And they will be hoping that they can get their hands on it from the restart. Sheldon Tarawa. Puts it high, it's hanging nicely. Gives the forwards a chance to get under it. Looks like it was either knocked forward or knocked back. I think it was a Nedlands player knocked it back. It's gone into touch. And so it will be a Kalamunda throw. So the line out again, Kalamunda have looked very strong in the line out. They've won the first two with ease. And they've won it again. It's good work, Weir. Malcolm Heke had to just fumble that one. It was not an easy pass. It was ran by his ankles and he had to take a step backwards and then just knocked it forward. So scrum time. And this will be the first scrum of the match. So just looking at the back of the scrum, the number 25, I think that is actually Blake Phillips will be playing at number eight. We were told he is a man mountain. Certainly looks a huge gentleman. Now the front row's engaged. The ball goes in. Nedlands hold their ground well. Tarawa released it quickly but ran into traffic. Kalamunda scrambling. Still going to be Nedlands ball. Taken into contact by Raymona. It's good strong defence again by Kalamunda, but illegal defence according to the referee. So just not rolling away after they made the tackle. So it is now Nedlands penalty. And I would 
think. Uh, are they going to go for the post? They are indeed. So about halfway between the 10 metre line and the 22. Kicking straight into the wind. It's a fairly direct kick, but it's not going to be the easiest with this wind. If the wind lulls as he strikes the ball, then he's got a good chance, but he's going to have to strike it fairly hard. Sheldon Tarawa, originally from New Zealand, had a spell with Wasps and also Joondalup Brothers rugby clubs. He was captain of Joondalup Brothers in 2019. Left footed. Steps up, strikes it well. And the flags are raised, so it is in fact three points each. Well struck there by Sheldon Tarawa. And we're all tied up at three apiece. So the perfect response from the home side. From the kickoff, putting Callum under, under pressure, forcing the error, and then kicking the penalty. Still a long way to go in this match. Again, it's a good kick from the restart. Brought down well by Pomare. England set it well. Lovely little inside ball. Just lost, though, in the end by Tuki Ramona. Calamunda now with the ball, Malcolm Heke. Just good pass to Simpkins. Simpkins out to Narube. Kicked ahead, gonna have to be scrambled. He's picked it up well and accelerating away. He's cut. It's a rather tricky pass and it was good defensive play again by Weir and a penalty conceded by Nedlands. So just coming in over the top and killing the ball coming out for Calamunda. That was almost desperation from Nedlands. So it's another kickable penalty for Kalamunda. Question is, will they go for the three points or are they going to go for slightly more? This time they are going to go for more. They've kicked it into touch, probably about 10 metres out from the try line. With the line out they've had so far, this is dangerous. Sila Tupo at the front of the line out for Kalamunda. He's been very good hands so far and I'm sure they will look to use him once more. Oh, they've mixed it up this time, almost stolen by Nedlands. Picked up though by Sumana Tafu. Sumana Tafu brought down by Phillips. Still going to be Callum under ball. In fact, it looks like it has squirmed out the side, but it's still Callum under hands on the ball as they're driving towards the Nedlands line. Driven sideways now. That was good work coming from the big man, Blake Phillips. But it is another penalty. And this one is indeed right in front of the posts. And as we saw before, Simpkins making his way forward. Simpkins, who was part of the Waikato Sevens team when he was coached by Roger Randall, the former All Black. That was prior, obviously, to coming to Australia to make it 100% record if he can you would think he should nail this one as I mentioned the wind very very strong blowing directly down the pitch maybe on a slight angle across if it was a clock at about one o'clock but that should help this kick Simpkins just throwing some grass in the air. Strikes it well, the flags are raised, and again, the ball sails across the esplanade into the garden of the resident opposite. So it is Nedlands three, Callum under six. All the points coming from penalty kicks so far. Either team really getting a good chance to penetrate and have a chance of a try so far. Once again, the test is for Netherlands to respond. Sheldon Tarawa with the restart. Again, it's a nice high kick long in the air and coming through, almost grabbing it was Aidan Laxton. Simpkins charged down, it's a good charge down, but 
coming back for the knock-on that was from the run through from Aidan Laxton. Laxton who was chasing up the restart. Laxton originally from Wales. He joined Netherlands about five years ago. Started his rugby with Milford Haven Mariners. For those of you with a nautical bent, Milford Haven was actually Admiral Nelson's favourite port. So the second scrum of the match, the last time it was fairly even. Both teams hardly moving after the ball was put in. I just feel this will be the interesting part of the game when there are scrums who can gain the ascendancy as the forwards get tired legs throughout the match. Just the second scrum of the game so far. Referee just making sure that front rows are in the right positions before they engage so there's no injuries. Ball goes in, comes back to Weir. Weir is snared brilliantly by Nathan Roberts but referee has his arm raised again. Roberts is uh, Having a rather robust discussion with the referee, feeling that he was onside. The referee is sure that he was actually offside. Got ahead of the ball before it came out of the scrum. Simpkins, that's a very good kick with the wind. Got plenty of height. Thought it had travelled a bit further. It's been given as crossing the line on the 10 metre line. Last position on the other side of the pitch. It looked like it was close to halfway. Another good grab in the line at that time by Caleb Ma. Narube. Simpkins gets that. Looks to put the cook kick through. And it goes into touch just over the halfway line this time. Chasing after it was Rarere. So Nedlands now their first line out by my reckoning Nicholas Hyde the newcomer with the ball in hand interesting to see if Kalamunda do try and contest this uh, they opt not to Nate Roberts again taken into contact centre of the pitch Nedlin said it well Ball spun to Hyde again. And Kalamunda driving through in the ruck and really driving with some venom. Nate Roberts, though, has the ball. Goes out onto the left hand side again. Kalamunda looked to be a little bit up rather quickly, and the referee has his arm raised again. And they were offside just seemed to come up a little bit too quickly that time so, Tarawa kicks towards the clubhouse and we move up to the 10 meter line inside the Kalamunda half the Netherlands forward strolling to the line out Good ball, grab quickly. Roberts spins it to Tarawa. Coming through the middle is the big Blake Phillips. A juggernaut when he gets the ball and hard to stop. Another little short pass. Raymona takes it up over the advantage line for Nedlands. Roberts digging deep to find the ball. Comes out to Cory Cud. And that was not forward as it was trying to be intercepted by Kitty Narube. And he's given a little bit of a push and a shove. And in fact, Penalty given, I think it must have been for deliberately knocking it forward to break up the play. So Nedlands looking now to kick towards the corner just to gain valuable metres. And in the conditions, that's a pretty good kick. Probably again about, oh, I'd say 15 metres or so from the try line. Difficult in these windy conditions because you don't want to overcook it and put it out over the dead ball area. Nicholas Hyde again goes to the back of the line out. Nedlands looking to try and get a rolling ball, but it's collapsed already. So the ball needs to come out there. Claiming that Kalamunda brought it down. Referee has his arm out. Nate Roberts goes infield and just uh, 
think that was just a deliberate misplay. Played it into Zantana Pomare. Pomare. So it's another penalty. And they look to inch closer to the try line. Another little dink of a kick. And now they are all of about five metres from the Kalamunda try line at the river end of the foreshore. The wind again blowing really hard. It's tough for a hooker to throw it straight. This time the rolling mall is going well. Kalamunda try to break it up, but uh, it's gone wrong somewhere. And it is going to be Kalamunda ball. Well, that'll be frustrating because Nedlands got the good ball in the line out. And then I think it was just mishandled. So it will be another scrum. But it crucially will be a Kalamunda scrum. Our Nedlands in 2020, they finished sixth on the ladder. Kalamunda finished eighth. So there wasn't too much between the two. Both teams bowing out in the final series at the first attempt. So both would want to get off to a really good start in 2021 in the FMG Premier Grade. We met last time in round 13 on the 26th of September last year. Kalamunda at the bullpen won that match 31 to 24 moment you wouldn't say we're going to see quite as high scoring a game today just doesn't feel like the conditions are suited but I may be wrong again both scrums hardly move an inch just showing how evenly matched they are comes to Simpkins that's a very good kick wind assisted won't find touch though it's kept in play well by Callum Thomas now Corey Cudd lovely little step off his right foot Found himself a little bit of space, but there wasn't much support. Now driving forward is Laxton again for Netherlands. Roberts feeds it out. Ramona takes it into contact, driving forward again. Roberts is there in support. That was a really good run from the Netherlands front rower. Calamander, it's a little bit scrappy, but they're holding Netherlands at bay at the moment. But Netherlands are inching ever closer to the try line just need to get clean ball now no one in at half back so it's just a pick and drive another pick and drive coming it's Phillips driving through is he going to get to the try line he's just short at the moment referee has his arm out for Netherlands pick up on the blind side only marginally blind side but and a try is it a try it looks like they're over and it is indeed a try to Nedlands, the first try of the match. I'm just trying to see who came up with the ball on the far side. So Nedlands, after sustained pressure, eventually getting across the line. And now they take the lead for the first time in the match. Eight points to six with the conversion to come. Version though in a nice position, pretty much straight in front. Try scored by Aidan Laxton. And the conversion put over with ease from Tarawa. So Nedlands stretch their lead to 10 points to Kalamunda 6. Now it's the turn of how Kalamunda will react. I have to say there were two runs really in the build up to that try. The one from Blake Phillips and also Tuki Raimona were the ones that really gained the meters for Nedlands. And they were able to make it count. Claimed by Roberts. It's a raking long kick, allowing the ball to bounce. Evan Jordan kicks back into the 22. Nedlands going to 
maybe let that one run and hope it'll go over the dead ball line. And it did. So we're going all the way back from where Evan Jordan kicked that one. Evan Jordan, who is a local Kalamunda boy, went to Kalamunda Senior High. So definitely is a man with the club in his heart. for the scrum now. At the moment, you'd have to say neither team has really had any ascendancy at all in the scrums. It's been really evenly matched. And the engagement, credit to both scrums as well, has been very, very good. This time, Kalamata put on a shove, but Nedlands, well, I thought they were going to get the ball out, but in the end, it popped up in the front row, so it will be a reset. Again, front rows getting in position. Nobody really knows what goes on in the depths of the front row except those who play there. They've engaged the ball again, is a good ball back to Nate Roberts. Tarawa feeds it out to Nielsen. Nielsen in turn to Zeitzman. Zeitzman's got it to Thomas. Thomas on the outside. Great tackle covering across, made that time by Rarere. Nedlands, Roberts gets it. Tarawa feeds it to the big number six, Aiden Laxton, who scored the try a few minutes ago. Roberts again comes the blind side. Taking that with his back towards the try line. Referee has his arm out again in favour of Nedlands. Roberts to Tarawa. This time it's Nicholas Hyde driving into contact in the middle of the park. Nedlands again get quick ball. Tarawa spins it. Good little sidestep from Nielsen. Nielsen tried to play the ball back behind his back, and we're going to come back across for that first defence over on this right hand side. No advantage to Nedlands. And the referee wanting to have a word with the captain, Jack Weir. Jack Weir, the 24-year-old who came from Mazenod College in Les Murdy. Again, Mazenod has produced some really outstanding athletes in recent times in a number of sports. Up in the hills of Western Australia, just outside of Perth, the city itself. So the ball in the hands of Sheldon. Tarawa, Tarawa, again, just goes down the line. It's a good kick, about five metres short of the try line. This was where they managed to build for the last try. So Nedlands will be hoping and believing that they can do the same again. Hyde gets the ball from the ball boy. Pomare claims the ball. Another good run from Laxton. Hyde was trying to pick that up, wasn't quite able to as he came in looking to pick and drive himself. Kalamunda spreading out on the open side, trying to cover Nedlands. Ramona tried to get a break, he's in support now. That's a good tackle. The ball will still be made available for Nedlands. Roberts short pass this time to Pomare. Pomare is driving towards the line as he got over. Well, a look across to the touch judge and the referee awards another try to Nedlands. So they stretch their lead now to 15 points to six. Pomare, the player going over. And again, it was from that position, the same position on the right-hand side, about five metres out, the line out. Good ball from the line out and good handling from 
All the play after that resulting in another try for Netherlands, their second of the match. Now Sheldon Tarawa looking to maintain his 100% record. One penalty, one conversion so far. Should suit him with the left foot, although the wind again is blowing across on an angle. Strikes it, but no, he's missed that one. So the score remains Netherlands 15, Callum under 6. Once again, just like to thank Instant Scaffolds for all your scaffolding and access equipment needs. Contact them in Welshpool and check out their website because they have monthly specials on their equipment as well. And also Lawley Bakery for their support as well. And we ask you to support all the sponsors wherever you can because they make the live stream possible. I think we've got the referee wanting to have Tupoloto go off for a head injury inspection. Well, you can't blame the referee this day and age. It's better that they err on the side of safety. Doesn't want to leave the field of play. And in fact, it's come back on. Oh, now going off, so there is a replacement coming on. Restart now from Calamanda looking to try and get back in the match. Roberts grabs it first time. No real pressure. Philip takes it into contact. The big man gaining valuable meters for Netherlands. Gets them out of the 22. Now it's Laxton. Laxton's broken through a tackle. Laxton's accelerating away. He's broken through another tackle. Stumbles eventually. Nate Roberts in support. He then passes the ball out to Aidan Lee. Lee is brought down just short of the try line. Netherlands trying to get there. There's appeals and it's a penalty to Netherlands. Well, the back row doing superbly there. Blake Phillips combining well with Laxton. And then eventually the penalty conceded and Roberts over the ball. I think a card's been issued to Jack Weir, the captain. Just see him making his way over to the sideline, so I can only presume he's been issued a car that I missed there. So that will be 10 minutes, which will be most of the rest of this half. So Kalamunda, who are trailing at the moment now, making their job that little bit harder, being a man down, as we just see another player just getting treatment. The player getting the treatment is a Pinaru. Just to give you a bit of information about the big man, Phillips, who's come into the Netherlands side. He was quite an athlete in his school days, by all accounts. He was a shot putter and discus thrower and you need good upper body strength and also power in your lower body to participate at a high level and he was involved in Australian championships originally from New Zealand but he's been playing rugby in Perth for a while he went to Clarkston Community High School and in 2011 won his first international competition in Singapore where he won the discus the shot put and the javelin so that just tells you how good Blake Phillips was in those events so play coming back on and we're having a scrum in front of the posts This is a crucial scrum now for Kalamunda. They're a man down. 
their scrum half over on the far side, sitting on the chairs. And they need to keep Nedlands at bay. Again, it's a good engagement. Nobody moving at all. A little bit of a shove now from Nedlands. Blake Phillip picks up. Nate Roberts gets it. Feeds it out. It's Corey Cudd. Good dummy from him. And he dots over the line. Third try for Nedlands. And it was good movement and really good play in the backs. A good dummy coming from Jackson Nielsen. And the fullback, Corey Cudd, going over to take the score now to Nedlands 20, Kalamunda 6. Still the conversion to come, but this will be a tricky one for Sheldon Tarawa. Wide on the right-hand side as Nedlands play towards the river and the wind blowing across from the river. You can probably see the flags behind the posts, how strongly they're fluttering. And that just gives you an idea of how strong the wind actually is today. And you can probably hear it in my microphone as well. So, Tarawa. Looks to the posts. We'll go with the high knee lift. Comes forward, strikes it, hoping to bring it round, but not enough. Had the distance, but just couldn't get the direction. So the score remains Nedlands 20, Callum under six. With half time fast approaching. So Callum under, don't forget, though, will have the playing into the wind in the second half. Nedlands will have the wind, so that could be a huge advantage. Taken well by Tanzen, closed down very quickly. Tupo looking to try and get in there. Steal the ball for Kalamunda. Roberts, and that's gone into touch. Well, touch judge says it hasn't. And Nedlands driving forward. What a dummy that was from Sam Cooper. The prop going forward. Was it a trip? Well, it looked like one from Simpkins to me. And that was the only thing that looked like it was going to stop Cooper. Spinning the ball wide now. Great chance for Jackson Nielsen goes to kick ahead a little bit of space and it's gone straight out on the full so what looked promising for Nedlands has actually backfired slightly and they come back to just short of Kalamunda's 10 meter meter line if Kalamunda were defending Kalamunda you feel just dodging a bullet that time Another good line out, but a difficult ball back to the halfback. Kalamunda still managing to keep possession. A good drive from them, gaining a couple of metres. And that's a poor pass, though, again, making it very difficult for Isaiah Malcolm Hecke. He's round his ankles once again, and fly half doesn't want it there. Bad little step coming through the gap. And penalised that time, just coming over the top of the ball. Justin Zeitzman. He's prevented it coming out as quickly as it should have done for Kalamunda. Referee onto it quickly. A wobbly kick with the wind, but it makes touch just inside Nedlands half. Calamunda, is there a try for them before half time? Just to close the gap. They'd really like one if they could. Simpkins in at half back at the moment while they're a man down. It's not a good ball for him. Kicked ahead well by Laxton. Laxton using his football skills, picks it up well. well Wales have really improved in their football of late, so Laxton showing why. Tarawa. Feeds it out now to Nielsen. Nielsen spins it wider to Zeitzman. Zeitzman takes two Kalamunda players with him before he hits the ground. Roberts picks up, he's nailed. But he's driven back into the ruck. 
Coming over the top, Kalamata trying to steal it. Appeals from the third half, which is the Netherlands membership over there. Breaking through. Well, they thought there was a try. The referee, I think, has seen the ball going to touch. Yes. Or is it a scrum? the third half they actually have a membership program here at Nedlands and anyone's welcome to join it's $200 per person it's a flat rate and members receive a neddy scarf to keep you warm on a windy day like today and they're also able to invite friends along to the lunches they have for a $60 fee and the first lunch is coming up on the 8th of May if you want more information you can contact the club Again, both scrums holding firm, and it's a credit to all those players. Malcolm Hecke, that's a very good kick. And it's bounced kindly for him. Into touch it goes, just inside the Netherlands half, just about, just short of the 10 meter line. So there was real pressure building again. And Kalamunda have eased that pressure. Really good kick from their fly half. Man from Tauranga. Isaiah Malcolm Hecke. So the wind really picking up. Tap down to Roberts. And I think the referee saying that that throw wasn't straight. And I'm sure Nicholas Hyde walking up to the referee saying, well, in this wind, you have a go, mate. It's pretty difficult. The wind is absolutely howling and really blustery coming across the pitch. And it's blowing exactly in that direction. So you've almost got to start it outside the Calamunda line to have it straight. Anyway, it's a Calamunda scrum. And they have the chance now to build something at the end of the first half to try and claw back a few points if they can. Simpkins, good ball this time to Malcolm Hecke. Bursting through is Narube. Coming round the back, Simpkins as well has done very well. Bursting through again, he's got through one tackle, still going. Ball lost forward though in the tackle, but a really good run from Haukamal. Now with Nedlands, quick ball, driving run from Pamare. Tarawa, oh, a lovely step off his right foot, saw a little bit of space, gets over halfway, eventually brought down, but the ball, there's no one there for Nedlands. Good scrambling play from Evan Jordan. But it is a penalty to Nedlands with Kalamunda players offside. Sheldon Tarawa again going to go for touch from halfway, aiming for this right hand side, and he's just got that one perfect right on the 22 meter line. Hyde comes across once more. Hyde, he went to Christchurch Boys High in New Zealand 25 years of age now try and get this one straight with the wind oh, referees happy no whistle this time and the rolling mall is on but Kalamunda at the moment holding it well and driving Nedlands backwards that's really good play by their pack it's gone to ground now so have to get the ball out as quickly as possible. Picked up by Laxton. Laxton driving on the angle, brought down. Roberts digs deep, gets the ball. Tarawa, good pass from him and it's out to Cody Cut now. Cut accelerating to the far corner, offloads. And it's a try, I think, judging by the crowd. 
And it was, if it was, it was uh, Finn O'Callaghan, I think, that scored on the far side. So another try to Nedlands, the 19-year-old Finn O'Callaghan taking the score to Nedlands 25, Kalamunda 6. That's just what Nedlands needed before the halftime break. O'Callaghan who's come through the Nedlands Colts and is part of the Force Academy. But it was the burst of pace really from Corey Cudd that made all the difference. Tarawa again from wide on the left this time. He's going to find it hard. The wind will really push it away from the posts. He needs to get a fairly strong connection. He's struck it well. But as suspected, the wind just blowing it away from the posts. So the score remains Nedlands 25, Kalamunda 6. Now you just wonder what Nedlands will do in the second half with the wind behind them. And suddenly those kicks from Tarawa will go over rather than being held up in the wind. Coming through, taken well by Ryan Tanzen again. Tanzen gained about 10 metres. Robert snap, spins it, taken well by Laxton. Laxton, it took two players to bring him down once again. Sets the ball up nicely, Roberts to Tarawa. Cud, oh, did he lose the ball behind? I thought he had for a second, but Somebody must have regathered it. As the referee obscured my view. Pomare. Roberts. Tarawa. Now it's Nicholas Hyde. Hyde offloads it to Ramona. Ramona carries it forward. And just lost forward in the tackle. And that will be the final play for the first half. It's been a very good one for Nedlands. After trailing initially three points to nil early in the match, they came storming back. And it is now at half time a scoreline that reads Nedlands 25, Kalamunda 6.
Welcome back to the foreshore halftime over here. Netherlands winning at the moment in this opening match of the FMG Premier Grade by 25 points to six. And they're going to be playing with the wind coming off the river in the second half. And it's going to be interesting to see what they can do with that. But full quota back now for Kalamunda. Scrum half and captain Jack Weir has served his 10 minute suspension. And it is Kalamunda that get the second half underway. Nate Roberts grabs and kick that straight into touch and he was just inside the 22. So referee was just checking that. I think a few of the Calamunda players were trying to say he was outside the 22. So the line out then should have been obviously where he kicked it from. So perfect position right in front of ours. And that was thrown again. Isaiah Malcolm Hecke offloading it to Sumana, Sumana Tafu. Picked up then by Horsburgh. Kalamunda starting the second half with purpose. And they really need to. Horsburgh on the edge of the ruck. Comes in now. Malcolm Hecke. That's a good offload that time to Hokomo. Hokomo gets through one tackle, then just held up momentarily. Pops the ball over the top. Kalamunda set it again. Good ball from Weir. Changing the direction back. Simpkins running round the back of the ruck. Brought down. Good tackle that time coming from Blake Phillips. Just slowed Kalamunda momentarily. Weir again. Looping pass out to Tapara. Tapara though. Taking the Netherlands man with him. Sam Cooper. Was dragged about five metres. Weir. This time goes to Nairube. Malcolm Hecke offloads it in turn to Tupo. Good break through the middle. What a surging run that is. And an offload. Nairube goes under the posts. But it was Suimanutafa that set that one up. Nairube gets the try for Kalamunda. The perfect start to the second half. And they are back in this match. So it is Netherlands 25. Kalamunda, 11, with a conversion to come. And the conversion pretty much straight in front, so you would think fairly straightforward. But this wind, you can never tell. Skimpkins placing the ball on the tee. Kitty Narube. The man from Nandi in Fiji pulling Kalamunda back and they're claiming that uh, Simkins' kick is going to come to naught. He'd moved and the Netherlands player is coming off the try line and touching the ball and he's still complaining about it. The referee's going, well, you move towards the ball. Well, he's saying he didn't move his feet, he moved his upper body. Well, that's one you can maybe courtesy of this live stream go back and watch again and have your own judgment on that one Tarawa kicks that one very very high try scorer claims it bursts through the forwards sets the ball up again Samanatafa Again, taking the ball into contact and gaining valuable metres for Kalamunda. Malcolm Hecke. That's a good kick. It's going to roll end over end and into touch. Just past the 10 metre line inside the Netherlands half. So it seems as if the team's preferring to play into the wind rather than with the wind at the moment. The Netherlands really need to watch their defence at the moment. They do not want to allow Kalamunda a quick try again, a second one in this half. Great claim in the lineup by Laxton. Philip again driving forward. Man who's in the Western Force Academy. Good defense from Kalamunda, but illegal defense to the referee it's taken quickly by Laxton Laxton doesn't have a lot of support going laterally across the pitch no one bringing him down round his feet a 
eventually lays the back ball back Roberts Tarawa offloads it good driving run from Pomare Roberts again Tarawa feeds it out to Nielsen Nielsen brought down and the Kalamunda fans not happy that he turned around Coming back for penalty for Nedlands. So I think that was for not being the required 10 metres when Laxton took the quick tap. Players then trying to tackle him while they hadn't retired 10 metres, so no real advantage gained. And the kick for touch now takes Nedlands down to the 22. Nedlands would really want to come away with some points just to stretch that margin a little bit more if they can. Referee just stopping the clock. And I think that we're just seeing Evan Jordan going off at the moment. So a change being made. Apologies, we've only got some of the players for Kalamunda for their substitutes bench. Just a little fingertip tap picked up by Nate Roberts. Roberts does well to change directions. That's the joys of being a little man. It's much harder for the big men to change direction. Townsend now trying to carry it forward for Nedlands. Gets a few metres, needs the support. Ball eventually available. Roberts picks and goes. Offloads it in the end to Pomare. Roberts again. Tarawa. Spins it wide, it's not going to make it through and it's picked up on the outside by the Kalamunda wing but we're coming back for yet another penalty. And I think the referee, is he going to his pocket or he's going to have a word certainly with the captain Jack Weir. Jack Weir stating his case for his team and the referee listening at the moment but he's gone to his pocket and it's another yellow card for Kalamunda and that's going to hurt them it's another 10 minutes where they are going to be down and it is Isaiah Malcolm Hecke their playmaker at number 10 so both of the halfback and the fly half picking up cards in this match and they're crucial players to have 10 minutes off the field of play. So Nedlands though opting now with the man advantage to go for the scrum. And they will no doubt hope for quick ball and then to spin the ball with a man advantage out in the backs. Big decision for Kalamunda whether they go with just seven in the pack and try and cover that's what they've done at the moment. We're directing traffic behind him. First scrum not successful, so they will re-engage. And a bit of sun comes out at last. Oh, meant to be some shocking weather conditions striking Western Australia in the north this evening and our thoughts go out to everybody in those regions and hope that they are prepared and again it's a good scrum from both scrums Corey Cudd steps off his left he's brought down brilliant tackle ball stolen Jack Weir sidestepping one two offloads Sue Manatafa takes it into contact Weir quick ball out Tui Poloto brought to ground Spinning it wide again. This time it's a chance for Hogg to drive forward. Good defence though from Kalamunda. They've kept Nedlands at bay. A little chip and go, but he was blocked and it's been picked up though brilliantly. Well, Jack Weir picked it up and the ball ripped out of his arms and we're going to come back for the obstruction. It was a clear obstruction from Aidan Laxton. Just literally walked across Simpkins as he played the chip ahead. 
play only continued because Jack Weir did brilliantly to get on the loose ball. Once again, you can hear how strong the wind is. Our apologies that we can't muffle it any more than we're trying to. So, finding touch again right in front of us. Just waiting for the ball. I think somebody's gone to get that. Yep, there's a young lady wearing a Queensland shirt who's brought the ball back. Norman Tapara with the throw in for the line out for Kalamunda. Again, it's a good grab by them. Weir gets rid of the ball quickly. Simpkins now in a fly half. Edlands were up very quickly again in Kalamunda looking to the referee, questioning whether they were up a little bit early. Tui Peloto taken down by two Nedlands players, makes the ball available. Weir, another little darting run from him. Nairube, out wide it comes. Chance now for Kieran Hogg. Hogg takes it into contact and is dragged over the side by Laxton. And it's all getting a little bit heated down below us. Laxton has had his skull cap taken off and everybody now getting in between. Uh, it's good to see the players calming down one of the spectators who got involved in that. need spectators getting involved in a little malaise like that. So Aiden Laxton, is he going to put his scrum cap back on? And the referee now coming across to have a word with his touch judge about what exactly transpired. So Laxton appeared to drag Kieran Hogg over the sideline. And then I think there was just an extra little push. And then, as you expect your teammates to do, Calamunda players came in to try and support Kieran Hogg. We'll see the outcome shortly after the two officials finish their discussion. Sila Tupo, I thought, was trying to act as peacemaker, certainly for Kalamunda. So the two captains now being called, I think, to just be advised as to what has transpired in the official's eyes and what decision is going to be the outcome of those discussions. And it looks as if the verdict is going to go the way of Kalamunda. Nate Roberts not looking too happy his body language may be saying a little bit more than his opposite number in time the discussion continues and are we going to continue play with the line out as it was So it is in fact going to be a lineup, but it will be Nedlin's ball, as it was Hogg who took the ball out of play. There's Hyde coming across, and play can now resume. Referee just making sure the distance between the two lines is the required one. Laxton to Roberts. Tarawa, lovely offload, but well read. Great driving run from Ryan Townsend again. He gains metres every time he gets the ball for Nedlands. Tarawa, a little grubber kick. It's bounced awkwardly. Super tackle coming through, but evaded that brilliantly. And Kalamunda trying to carry the ball out of defence. And it's a kick this time from Jack Weir just to gain some advantage, having to turn around and go back. And Nedlands looking to try and counter-attack. And appeals that he was brought down by Phil o Finn O'Callaghan, the try scorer. 
Now it's a lovely little step and a grubber infield. Having to go back again was Jackson Nielsen. Blake Hignett, I think he was kicked it ahead. Oh, and that looked like a shoulder to me from Hogg. Play on is the core now, it's Blake Phillips. Another good little run from Pomare. Spinning the wall wide, Laxton. The flanker, he's got through a tackle, brought to his knees though. And Kalamunda and the arm goes up. And Kalamunda looking to play on quickly and they're gonna gain an extra 10 meters. That was smart play. Blake Phillips couldn't stop himself from trying to hold up play as he was the main man forward. And Laxton has now got a yellow card. So Nedlands are down to 14. I think that's probably not a surprise. He was getting a little bit heated out there. So both teams down to 14. Malcolm Hecke not back on as yet, but has, by my estimation, about three or four minutes to go before he will be back in play. So there should be a little bit of extra space out there for the backs if they wish to use it. Tupo, good jump from him again in the line out. Comes to Simpkins. Simpkins goes infield to Horsburgh. Horsburgh stopped in his tracks. Nedlands penalised for being offside. Weir goes quickly again. Nedlands was slow to retire the 10 metres. Weir's gained about 15 metres for Kalamunda. Good play by the captain. Calling for the ball out wide is Hignett. On this right hand side, Sumanatafa driving forward. Such a big man to bring down. Eventually brought to his knees. Pick and drive on the blind side from Kalamunda. And it is Nedlands who'll be penalised for coming in over the top and killing the ball from coming out. And this is a crucial position for Kalamunda. And Weir, it looks like he's going to go for touch and try and inch his team closer to the try line. He does exactly that. And now it's vital, if you're a Kalamunda fan, that they turn this possession into a try and tighten up the gap. Nedlands still leading at the moment, 25 points to 11. Still plenty of time left in the match. And it looks to me as if big Blake Phillips has gone off. And driving for the line, it was a good run from Norman Tapara. He can drive again, Tupo is just short, just held up short of the line. Tupo, who's never given up the whole match in every aspect, attack, defense, whatever. It looked as if Nedlands may have come through and stolen that, but I think Kalamunda have got it back. Committed a lot of bodies. Simpkins now spins it out wide. Hignett looks to get it out again. Trying to get past the last man. Brilliant tackle. Just prevented there was Ralulu. And I apologise if these names are wrong. These are the numbers I was given at the beginning of the match for the substitutes. So, so close for Kalamunda, but it will be a Nedlands throw from the line out we've got a man down injured for Nedlands referee just having a word gives me a chance again to thank our sponsors instant scaffolds scaffolding and access equipment various equipment available they're based in Welshpool here in Western Australia and they have monthly specials and you can contact Murray McLean for all of your needs also Lawley Bakery we thank them for their support in helping this live stream come to you today on a very, very windy day. And uh, just also like to acknowledge once more the gentlemen all over under the tarpaulins over there in the third half. And they have asked me to let everybody know their steak nights kick off this Thursday. So get down to Nedlands, grab a beer and a steak and support the club on what is always a good night. So if you like your meat and you like Nedlands, or if you just like rugby, come down to the foreshore. It's a wonderful place to be. Now the yachts have all disappeared. They're obviously all having their sundowner. But the wind is still blowing fairly heavily. And 
pleased to say that Justin Zeitzman is back on his feet, looking a little bit ginger. And I'm not referring to his hair colour. So Nedlands with the defensive line out, need to get it away as quickly as they possibly can. Good grab in the line out that time. And it's a good kick, clearing kick. Calamanda take the throw quickly to Peloto. And now it's Weir. Back on is Malcolm Heke releasing the balls. Sumana Tafa took it into contact. And again, decision goes the way of Calamanda. I thought it had gone the way of Callum. It may actually be a Nedlands scrum. Sumana Tafa, slow to get to his feet. It's a very heavy contact. And uh, for those of you who may be interested, I'm not sure how accurate this was, but I was told that in Samoan, his first name, Auger, means woe. So woe is Sumana Tafa at the moment. Hopefully he will be all right and back on his feet because I don't envy those who have to carry him off. He is on his feet now, hobbling off, and that's not a good sign for Kalamunda. And let's just hope it's just a knock or a cork and he will be okay and ready to play next week because he's had a big game for his club today. So it is indeed a scrum. It will be Nedlands ball. And Nedlands have done well to keep Kalamunda at bay after they scored early in this second half. Kalamunda will be feeling that they really need to score a try as soon as they possibly can now, just to give themselves the hope of being within striking distance in the last five or 10 minutes. Nedlands though will just want to get the ball as far away from their own try line as possible. Scrum wheeling, but the ball comes out. Tarawa, that's a very good kick again, but it's fielded well by Simkins. Simkins steps off his left, offloads it. Hignit gets over halfway, he's being held up. The ball almost ripped out of his arms. Here he comes now, Tapara. Tapara, strong tackle. That was a tough contact between him and Hyde. And it's all got a little bit tetchy again. So credit to Kalamunda, whenever they're getting given a penalty, they're taking it fairly quickly and just catching Nedlands, not retiring and making them tackle before they've retired the 10 metres. So it's been a very successful tactic. A kick going out just inside the 22. Now this was the position from which Nedlands managed to build from the line out and score two tries in the first half. Can Kalamunda echo that and do the same? Tapara waits. Pardo made his debut in 2017, came through the Kalamunda Colts. So again, a player with strong history with the club. It's a big, big jump. I know he was lifted, but he still got very, very high. They're trying to get the rolling ball going. Nedlands trying to stop it going anywhere. It's gone to ground now. The ball spills out the side. Kicked ahead by Nedlands. Coming across. Hignet, oh, he finally got it under control, but was going backwards as he did that. Nairube releases it now to Simpkins. Simpkins, in turn, gives it out to Ralulu. Weir. Malcolm Heke saw a gap, and he went through, just got ankle tapped, and 
went down on his knees. And again, Nedlands player coming in over the top, killing the ball coming out. And that's just an easy decision for the referee. There's number 19 on my sheet, that's Jacob Rumble. Player penalised. Sorry, not Jacob Rumble, that was Cameron Brown. And Nedlands have kept that in. Oh, no, they haven't. The linesman's flag going up. So must have just had his foot on the ground as he touched the ball. Of course, if he's in the air and he taps it back, that's OK. The third half, again, those members for Nedlands giving the official a bit of a tough time. He did turn around and explain his decision. That was very kind of him. So here's a chance for Kalamunda. Nedland's going to have to defend valiantly. Trying to come across in the line out was Ryan Townsend. Kalamunda driving towards the line. The ball has come out the side now. Nedland's trying to regroup as Kalamunda looked to try and just pick and drive off the ruck. And the referee has his arm raised once more. It's going to be another penalty, and it's a yellow card again for Nedland's. So. They are going to be down another man. I'm not sure Laxton is back on yet. So Heath Tessman is down on my sheet as being 16, but I'm not sure that that is actually Heath Tessman. Good defence. Kalamunda driving there just inches away from the line. The ball spun now. Malcolm Hecke gives it out. Simpkins, it went behind him. It was not the greatest of passes. Nerube to Weir, Weir smothered. Malcolm Heke offloads it now to Apinaru. Still Kalamanda keep the ball. Malcolm Heke looked to play it out the back door but gathered it because it was not going to find a teammate. Spinning it wide now. They're coming down the left-hand side with numbers. Just brought short was to Heke. Good tackle coming out of defence by Nedlands, but it's still Kalamunda. The arm is raised again. And this time it's for not releasing the ball in the tackle. So it is Nedlands that get the penalty. And they can breathe a sigh of relief because 14 men, I think for a, a while they're actually still 13 men. And so they were really defending all hands to the pumps. And managed to keep Kalamunda at bay. Those are sometimes the moments on which a season is built. This is the opening game in the FMG Premier Grade. And if you can hold teams at bay when it's really stacked against you, the spirit grows. And I was right because Laxton has only just come back on the pitch. So they were defending that last bit of passage of play with 13 players in Kalamunda at full stretch, desperately trying to get a try. So hats off to the commitment from Nedlands, claimed in the lineup by Laxton. Driven forward by Nedlands, Roberts waits. Strong step off the left foot there coming from Jackson Nielsen. Tarawa, he's kicked that one high. Ralulu has gathered that one, skips out of the first tackle. Well, I thought he had, but eventually was nailed. Cameron Brown doing the tackle, but they've broken through now. It's the skipper Weir looking for support. Well, jumping over the top of him. Well, that was a massive tackle from Liam van der Vestijsen. Narube now. He has one try today. Saw a gap. Goes through it. Narube, is he going to get a second? Slides in. He does indeed get a second. His second try of the second half. And it really pulls Kalamunda within striking distance of Nedlands. 25 plays 16 with the conversion to come. Well, that was a great bit of running coming from Kitty Nairube. He got four tries against Cottesloe in 2017. So he is used to scoring tries. And this is a very important kick now. Joseph Simpkins really needs to nail this one. Simpkins, who was part of the Waikato development squad in 2017. 
he gets this and Kalamunda are within six points of Nedlands. So a converted try would see them still victory. Difficult kick, the wind coming from directly behind those posts as you can see the way the flags are blowing very strongly. Sudden gust picking up there, it's dropped suddenly. He struck it well, has it come round enough? No. So the score remains. Nedlands 25, Kalamunda 16. We are now in for a really exciting finish as the clouds gather above us and it gets a little bit darker on this autumn evening here in Western Australia. So lucky that the players can be playing sport in these times and we hope wherever you're watching you're enjoying it. Tarawa and nobody claiming it. Eventually falls to Hignett. Hignett going laterally across the pitch. Eventually brought to ground. Gained absolutely no metres, but the ball is set for Weir. Driving run that time from Tuheke. And it's good, quick hands, good acceleration. Can they release it infield? No. Given back to Nedlands. But so encouraging to see. Kalamunda wanting to run the ball out of defence. Credit to their coach, Koyatu Kayatu. Played for the Cook Islands. He played sevens for them in the World Series sevens and also at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. So we'll know all about running rugby. Sam Rarasea is the coach of Nedlands. Of course, he played for the club as well. From Heke to Heke. And a little bit of an acceleration again from Nairube. Offloads it infield. That was a great grab by Ralulu. Nairube at halfback. Weir, very short pass. There was not much he could do. And he just goes to ground just to set it again for Kalamunda. There's a little bit of afters going on off the ball. Short pass this time played to Hokomo. Taken into contact. Kalamunda set it now, just over the 10 metre line inside Nedlands half. Trying to spin the ball. Weir gets it out to Malcolm Heke. Tuipalotto breaks the first tackle, goes to ground eventually. Nedlands trying to drive over the top. Comes to Simpkins now. Grubber kick in behind the defence. Corey Cud will come across and pick that up. Good tackle though on him. Needs to release the ball as there are Kalamunda driving over the top. That's great by the backs and Nedlands complaining, but good work by Laxton who picked up the ball and released it back to Townsend. Townsend sets it now for Nedlands. Roberts goes back. Nedlands kick it clear. But there are two players in the deep now for Kalamunda. Claimed by Simkins. Simkins goes infield again to Ralulu. Take it to ground. Nedlands trying to steal. Referee has his arm out, telling Nedlands to roll away and a deliberate knock on and played on again by Simpkins. Offloads it again to Caleb Ma. Out wide it goes and this is another great break again from Kalamunda. Weir and they offload it again but the pass unfortunately was behind Silla Tupo and now breaking forward, kicking it ahead all the way towards the try line. Coming across now, Ralulu will claim it. Stopping Jamie Horgood getting there. Horgood though, he's claimed it back for Nedlands. There's not much support. Ball pops out the back. It's been grabbed. Is he going to get over the try line? He falls over the try line. And it is a try to Cameron Brown for Nedlands. It wasn't pretty, but it may be the match winning try of the game. So Nedlands 30 to Kalamunda 16 and Kalamunda who looked like they were headed towards the try line but just outstanding reactions driving forward from Jamie Horgood and in the end just going over the try line was Cameron Brown.
and that may well settle the match and see Netherlands record their first victory of the season in their opening match of the season. And that will be a bit of a heartbreaker, I would have thought, for Kalamunda. As they were really taking it to Netherlands. Difficult kick. Tarawa, the high lift, struck it well. Is it coming round? The flags are raised. It's a good kick. The conversion. Tarawa adds the extra two points. Nedlands 32, Kalamanda 16. That just shows how the difference kicking with the wind behind you can make. Sheldon Tarawa nailing that one. So is there still a sting in the tail from Kalamunda? The ball goes the 10 metres. Now they set it up. That was again intelligent play. Hit hard is Caleb Mark. Driven back in the tackle too. Weir, short pass, offloads it to Horsburgh. Horsburgh just gets over the advantage line. Tupoloto picks in drives. Under, inching forward, Weir to Simpkins. Pass was slightly behind Apinaru. Apinaru upended there. Very strong tackle coming in from Sheldon Tarawa. That's a bad pass round the ankles and not surprisingly not forward. Very difficult to pick those ones up. So it will be a Nedland scrum just inside their own half. Again, you would feel they just want to get the ball as far forward as they possibly can. Of course, that try for Nedlands gaining them a bonus point, their fourth try of the match. So I'm sure Sam Rarasea will be very happy. Of course, 2019 Rugby WA Coach of the Year was appointed in that year by Nedlands. Last year was a season obviously that was disrupted with the COVID pandemic, so he will be judged again on this season, a full season of rugby. just binding the second row is getting into position front rows hang on they engage now and the ball goes in Roberts Tarawa just a little kick in behind the defense it's a tricky one had to let it run and now has to pick up and try and find his way out Finn O'Callaghan brilliant tackle by him and into touch he took him and O'Callaghan, look at the fist pumps just from a tackle. Jaden Solomon really had nowhere to go. Once he let the ball bounce, it was a very, very good kick from Sheldon Tarawa. So Nedlands again within Kui of the try line for Kalamunda. Laxton pulls it down in the air. And they look to try and get the rolling ball going. I think the ball is with Hyde at the back. Nate Roberts lends his weight. They're driving towards the try line. They're not far away now. Looking to just drop over the try line. And that is a try. And I'm sure that it is Nicholas Hyde who has the ball at the bottom of all of that. 
because he had it tucked under his arm as they were driving towards the try line. And yes, he's coming up, making sure that everybody knows that he was the man to claim that try. So Nederlands stretch their lead now to 37 points to 16. And what a way to start your first game. Nicholas Hyde with a try. He'll be very happy about that. Played for the Canterbury Māori back in 2017. So Netherlands, you'd have to say, in this game have been consistent. They've defended well. They've been put under a lot of pressure. Question marks asked of their defence. Down to 13 players at one stage, but they hung firm. And then when it's mattered, they've managed to get the points. Now Sheldon Tarawa trying to add two more. The wind just dropping for a moment. Strikes it well, it's not going to come round. He was hoping that the wind would pull that one around. So it remains Nedlands 37, Kalamunda 16. And Kalamunda, well, they'll feel a little bit hard done by, I think, by the scoreboard. But they're certainly going to give a lot of teams a really tough day. Simpkins kicks it high again. Pack swarm around the Netherlands players. The ball comes out. Laxton, he's been everywhere today for Netherlands, including on the sideline after a yellow card. And uh, just a poor pass then, just lost and going into touch from Justin Zeitzman. And the line out taken quickly, but not from the position where it had gone out. Oh, it's a free kick now. Horsburgh takes it into contact. Good driving support coming through from Rumble. And a great break forward that time from Kieran Hogg. Kalamunda still coming. They're not giving up the ghost. A great bursting run coming from Tuheke. They're just to about 10 metres away from the try line. Good strong defence again from Nedlands. Desperation trying to keep Callum under at bay. Picked up, stolen away. But it's going to be a penalty to Callum under. Ball taken quickly. Simpkins spins a high one out wide. Taken well by Kieran Hogg. Hogg drives towards the post. Can't quite get there. Held up. Going back, and are we going to see another player from Netherlands is going to get a card? And I think it's, is it number 20 or is it Laxton again? I think it's Laxton again. It is indeed Aiden Laxton, so gets two yellows in the game. Somehow, Nedlands managed to steal possession. Tarawa, that's a very good kick under pressure. Just to the edge of the 22. So Kalamunda still in a good position to attack. Nedlands, though, with 14 players having to defend. And they obviously are pretty weary, the work they've had to put through today. It's a messy line out. Neither team grabbing it. Not forward by Kalamunda, says the referee. Scrum put in to Nedlands. Uh, we're in the throes of the final minutes now. Nedlands, you feel assured of victory. Calamunda, though, wanting to just finish with one last burst of energy and hopefully some points as well. Nedlands determined to keep them at bay. Now the scrums again getting into position. How good they've been today, both of them. Outstanding. 
And the professionals could learn a thing or two about not collapsing all the time. Ball comes out, Roberts. That's a really good tackle to bring down the big Cameron Brown. Kick goes straight in the air. Everyone converging on it and Nate Roberts cleaned up as he caught that. He's claiming he was caught in the air and the referee says he wasn't and it was knocked forward. I have to say, I'm with the referee. I thought that was a brilliantly timed tackle. That just as Roberts hit the ground after plucking the ball from the air, that's when the tackle came in and it was fair, it was well timed and it wasn't dangerous. This could well be one of the last passages of play in this match. Kalamunda stretching out and they're hoping they can really mount a last attack. Simpkins is in at the fly half position. Malcolm Hecke has moved out to inside centre. Just waiting for the scrum again. Bind is the call, and now they're set. Jack Weir puts the ball in, he's wanting the ball to come to his number eight. Eventually it does, Simpkins to Dummy, goes out to Hignett, Hignett throws it out to Ra Solomon. Solomon held up. Simpkins again. Gone over the 10 metre line now. Weir. Malcolm Hecke. Tuipoloto. Bursting, bursting run from Tapara. And into touch. And it will be a Nedlands throw. And there is the final whistle. And what a great advert for the local rugby that has been in the opening game of the FMG Premier Grade. Kalamunda, who were leading at the beginning of this match, unfortunately. Could not hang on to that lead. Nedlands taking the lead late in the second half, in the first half. A fight back in the second half after Nedlands had led 25-6 at half time. But at the end of the match, the final score is Nedlands 37, Kalamunda 16.